Hi, I'm Renee with the Flip and Tilbys, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to easily upgrade your RV's dinette. My husband and I have been flipping and renovating RVs for the past seven years, and this is our very favorite way of upgrading any dinette. You need minimal amounts of tools and fairly minimal amounts of skill to be able to turn out a fantastic recovered dinette. So the supplies that you're going to need for this project are fabric, scissors, quarter inch thick wood, a staple gun, 3 8 inch staples, and a tape measure. Preferably one that's soft that you can actually move around your cushion. Now when you're buying fabric for this project, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. So first off, a dinette is going to get pretty high use and abuse. So you're going to want to make sure that you get something that's very durable. We really like using outdoor upholstery fabric or some sort of upholstery vinyl fabric as well. For this project, we are using an outdoor fabric though. This is fairly inexpensive and we were able to get it, I believe it was about $7 a yard on sale. And when we were choosing it, we really wanted to make sure that we were picking a fabric that's going to go well with the existing finishes in the RV. Since we're only doing a few projects in this RV and we're leaving most of the manufacturer finishes, we want to make sure whatever we're putting inside of it is going to go well and look very cohesive. The next thing that you're going to want to purchase is the wood for the backside of your cushions. So I'll show you here. This is the cushion that we, the original one, and this is the finished look. So here's our outdoor fabric that we used on it. Now on the back side, we attach the fabric to the wood. So the wood is a very necessary part of this project and it makes it so this can be a no-sew project. So we typically will use a quarter inch underlayment when we're doing this project. You can get this at any home improvement store. And if you have your dimensions ready, you can take them to an employee of the home improvement store and they'll typically cut it to size for you right there in store. So if you don't have a table saw or a skill saw to do it yourself, you can absolutely still do this project. You're gonna wanna cut the wood one inch shorter on all the Side. So it's going to be two inches shorter than the width and two inches shorter than the length. So for this project, we're only doing the upper cushions. We're going to leave the lower ones because it's a very neutral color. And I bought three yards of the upholstery fabric to cover them. I'm anticipating that I will have extra fabric, but I always want to buy a little bit more than I think that I'm going to need just in case. This is a U-shaped dinette, so it's quite large. So I did make sure I got three yards for it. If you were to do the upper cushions and the lower cushions of a U-shaped dinette, I would do six yards of fabric to be able to finish that entire project. But make sure you do your own measurements to ensure that you're going to get enough product for your project. For the wood for this project, we used about a quarter of a full sheet of the underlayment. So if you're doing an entire U-shaped dinette, Get buying a half or a full will be more than enough to be able to finish your entire project. All right, now that you've gathered all your supplies, you've purchased your fabric and your wood, you're ready to get started. After you've cut your wood two inches smaller than your cushion, you're going to want to center it onto the back side of the cushion. After you do that, you're going to want to get your soft tape measure and measure around the width of the cushion an inch into the wood. So you're wanting your fabric to overlap at least an inch on both sides. And then you're going to want to measure the other side. So then after I got my measurement, I got my fabric and my scissors, and then I cut it to size. After you have your fabric cut, then you're going to want to get your cushion and center it on your fabric. Make sure that it's fairly balanced and make sure that your wood is still also fairly centered on the cushion as well. After you have everything centered, it is time to start attaching your fabric to the wood. So you're going to want to get your staple gun. You're gonna to want to pull the fabric up to one of the ends of the boards. You're also going to want to fold your fabric over just a little bit because you do not want that fabric fraying. This is gonna ensure a really nice professional finish when you're done with this project. So after you have it folded over and brought up to the edge, you're going to wanna pull it just a little bit taut, not super tight, just nice and smooth, and then start stapling. Then you'll make your way all the way down that whole length. Once you're finished with that one end, you're going to want to do the opposing side to create a nice and balanced look. So flip the whole cushion around, do the exact same thing on the other side. After you finish with the two ends, it's time to do some corners. Now the corners are really fun. You just fold them like you would a nice tidy present. You're going to just fold it in, fold it up, and then secure it. Then you're going to make your way down that side. But once you've gotten about halfway down that edge, you're going to want to fold the next corner. If you do the whole edge before getting to the corner, it's going to be very hard to get that folded nice and tidy. So fold the second corner nicely and then secure it with one staple and then go back and finish that whole side. This project's very forgiving. It's very hard to mess up permanently. Have fun with it, take your time, and do not be afraid to undo something and redo it if you're not happy. 
After you've done that side, you can flip around, do your third corner, do the next side, and then do your fourth corner. And now you've finished reupholstering one of your cushions. We'll just continue repeating that process to do the rest of the cushions for your RV's dinette. Now this project, if you're planning on doing an entire dinette, plan on it taking you two to four hours after you've gathered all of your supplies. Because we are only doing the top side of it, this project cost about $30 for us in fabric and about $10 worth of wood and we had all the supplies. If you're planning on doing the entire dinette, count on doubling that number. And it also very much depends on what type of fabric that you want to use. This way is our favorite way for any person to be able to recover their dinette cushions and making it very accessible for the average person. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe and follow along as we continue doing this series of easy RV modifications. Thanks so much for watching guys and happy RVing.